Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Broken Branch Wood Shop. Uh, today, we're going to be going over how to replace the tube and lens uh, in our Laguna EX. Um, we were working out here in the shop today. Uh, we've been doing a lot of cups uh, like this. This is just an example of some of the ones we were doing. This one actually has uh, our wood shop emblem on them, but we were doing a bunch of other uh, different cups and stuff, getting ready for a show that we're going to be setting up a booth at. Uh, well, it's not a show, but we'll be getting ready to set up a, a booth uh, at a conference uh, next week. And so we were lasering a lot of cups over this past week. And um, today it didn't want to didn't want to do right. And we were probably at fault for that. We lasered a whole bunch of cups and then we put the board in here today uh, to start doing some other projects. And it wasn't wanting to cut through at the same power and speeds that we had been doing before. Uh, so we increased the power on them, started hitting it again, and it kind of started going a little bit haywire and put some burns on the board, uh, stuff like that. And we took it off and the lens is cracked. And so uh, luckily we have a lens that we've had here for a while uh, from American Photonics that was given to us by our good friend Ben uh, Gonzalez, who does a lot of laser work uh, stuff. And uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this off and put that one on. But there are some differences uh, with the air hose that goes to it. And so we're going to go through how to do all of that today. So uh, stick around and let's see how it's done. All right. So we actually already have this uh, taken apart. We just had it back up there so you kind of see. So you're just going to untwist this and disconnect it, your hose. And it's not, it doesn't matter, this is loose because we've already loosened that up. You want to loosen these up here to take this tube out. That can just hang there. And I'll show you real quick. You should be able to see the, the crack in this. Can you see it there? Right there. So you can see the crack in that right there and it may not seem like much, but any, any kind of crack in it like that's going to cause the laser to, to not work right. And so we're going to swap it out. So this is the American Photonics uh, two inch. As you can see, the air intake is a little bit different. And the other thing that's different is once we got this up in the tube, we realized that this is actually just a little bit, not much, but just a little bit smaller around than the tube that come out of there. Now, you don't want to just stick it in there and tighten the screws down because it's going to push this to the back back here, and then your beam's not going to come out center of your nozzle down here. So you want it to be even. So what we're going to do uh, for a temporary fix until we can... And if it works right, we'll probably leave it, honestly. We're just going to take some tape and we're just going to wrap around there until we put it up in there and get a snug fit. And once the fit is snug all the way around, then, uh, then we'll be good to go and we'll get that in there. So let's do that real quick. This is just some green frog tape. And so... Here, I'm going to take this off real quick so it doesn't get in the way. And just get that good. Right, let's get it good and flat. And so we will make just a couple of rotations. And then we'll tear that off and see how see how that fit is. Uh, still a little bit loose. I'm gonna set it down here in my lap so I can
Oh yeah. That's good and snug right there. So we'll leave it at that. So let's put, put this back up here. All right, so what we want to do is this, our old one has just this nut kind of attachment on it right here. And it doesn't screw onto this because this is just, it just clicks in when you press that down. So what we did is, let me just slide this off because I don't want to take it off all the way because depending on what we do in the future, I don't want to ever need this again and not have it. So what I'm going to do is just get it pushed back and we'll just slide it up the tube there and get that back out of the way and then it's good to go. So what I did is I just took and cut the little small end off of this and took these two pieces to the hardware store to make sure and of course you can look right here and it says quarter inch on there so we really didn't have to take it but it's one of those things just to be sure so we went to the hardware store and we got actually two pieces of hose that are quarter inch they fit in there perfect this is just your regular just plastic tubing line um, and just in case uh, because we had been told something about using a thick wall fuel line we grabbed that too both of them as far as the, the outside diameter fit in there um, but just in case this one you know flexes too much and comes out then we can always switch it back but i think that it's going to be fine so that's what we're going to start out with right now and we're just going to cut we're just going to cut a small piece off of here as far as price difference um, this clear regular tubing was 19 cents a foot and the, the fuel line was actually a dollar 70 a foot um, so you know as far as this working that's actually going to be your best bet so what we're going to do is we're just going to run this up in here just a little bit and then what I'm going to do, because it's, it's a little snug, but it's not super tight. Um, and the smallest little clamps that they had um, was still too big for this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap just a little bit of electrical tape around this. Just for good measure. And then now that I've done that, I've got a small zip tie and I'm going to cinch this down with this small zip tie. Make sure I'm on it good. All right, good deal. And then we can cut that excess off there all right and now once we get the tube up in there this will just snap down in here when you push this down the wings fold up and when you let it go uh, the little wings in there reach out and so those will grab that tube so just slide down in there and lock when you want to pull it out you don't have to worry about all the twisting of the the nuts like you do on the other one you just push this down it releases those wings and it'll slide right out so we'll get that put on here in just a second um, but what we do want to go ahead and do is get all of this set up on here, slide this down, that may be just a little bit snug. Let's do this. Let's unwrap this once. There we go. All right. So, and the 
this down. I'm going to tighten up this auto focus. And then once we get this put on, because this tube is a little bit shorter, then we'll end up adjusting the autofocuser uh, to make up for the difference there. So get these good and snug. And then with our line here, all we're going to do is it's just going to push right in there and seems to be good to go. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to activate this autofocus and let's just see how far of a difference it ends up being between the two and uh, and then we'll be able to make our adjustments on here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto focus onto this board here and then I want to see how big of a gap we have there. So we've got a pretty good size gap there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up this hex right here. Oh, and that went down a little bit. So let's bring that up. And you want to have it snug down pretty good because you don't want it to to slide all right so let's do that again make sure I'm seeing my screen there and it looks like we still need to come back up a pretty good bit so what I'm going to do just real quick so that I can, I don't lose track, I'm going to make a mark right there. That way if it slides down, I remember where I was. Right, let's go right there. All right. That is super close. Uh, do that again. We want it just, just above the surface. Check that one more time. That looks just about perfect to me. So what we'll do is we will, the alignment should be there because everything is still centered. We can see it right here. And so what we'll do now is run a test cut and see how it goes. All right, so we've got a piece of half inch uh, birch plywood here, and we've got it at the settings that we normally was cutting uh, all the way through this board, which is at uh, nine power, 
uh, are at nine speed and 65 power. We're just going to cut a one inch circle and see if it cuts through it. I've heard that these uh, American photonics do really great things and that people were able to lower. So if it cuts through it, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll back down and see how much we can lower the power and still continue to cut through with this uh, lens on there. So let's bring this down. It's autofocus. All right. Um, tell you what we're going to do just for sake of this video. We're going to deactivate this and leave this open just so that we can see it. All right, here we go. Go ahead and get the fan going. I don't know how good it's going to do with this being open, but let's do it. I left the fan on it. All right. Went through it. So uh, let's turn the power down and man, that went through it clean. Let's see what we'll do if we turn the power down. Nice. All right, so I'm going to bring that back to origin. And let's turn the power down. Let's see, we were at 65. Let's turn it down to 55 and see what it'll do. We may have to go back up to, but let's just see. Let's do it. I had one little look, one tiny little speck right there that held it on at fifty five. 65 55 i'll be honest with you before we did this we would cut it at 65 and it never failed there was always going to be several little spots in there that didn't quite cut through that we would just grab a razor blade and cut it and go through like that at 65 with the american photonics uh lens on there it cut it through absolutely no problem we dropped it down to 55 and it left one tiny little speck of wood right there. But just touching it, it popped through. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's a success. Um, we'll continue to play with it and see what we can do. But uh, hopefully seeing it be changed, it, it was, it's an easy thing. Not much to it. And I can tell you right off the bat, much cleaner cut, even at lower speeds than what it was before. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking it out. Uh, if you have anything to add, whether it's about uh, different lenses or anything like that, please feel free to uh, leave those in the comment below. Um, please consider subscribing if you hadn't and uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see what else we can come up with. Thanks for joining with us today. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Be safe out there, and uh, we'll see you back in the shop. Thanks a lot.